What are you holding on to too tightly as a business owner? And how's that holding your team back? Well, let's get into that today. Thomas Joyner with Business on Purpose here. So at our weekly check-ins that we have every single week, Scott always asks me the same five to six questions. And he tends to sprinkle in one to two, you know, that come and go throughout the year. And his question last week was something that kind of threw me off a little bit. And he asked, what am I holding on to too tightly that I need to let go of? What am I holding on to too tightly that I need to let go of? You know, it's a question that's really rooted in humility, but also rooted in knowing that this business is his baby. And for years, he wore every hat in the business, right? From coaching to bookkeeping, even ordering the toilet paper for the office bathroom. He's done it all for years and years and years. So sometimes he doesn't even realize that someone's ready to take something off his plate because he gets locked into these rhythms of just doing it all and not really processing and coming up for air on what he can give away. But it's a powerful question because there's areas that I'm ready to grow and responsible, or excuse me, responsibilities I'm ready to take on that will ensure that I continue to grow in my job role and not grow bored with my day to day. You know, I had a client a few weeks back and he lost an employee to this exact same situation. He called him in for an exit interview and one of the things that they said was that they didn't feel like their role had any room for growth. They did the same thing day after day and that things were held so tightly by the owner, even though they'd been working together for years, they didn't feel like they were trusted and they didn't feel like there was really any vision for where they were headed in their role. You know, from an employee's standpoint, that, that lack of feeling trusted and lack of feeling like there's any room for upward movement or any vision for the purpose in their business, that's tough to swallow. And it really feels like you're just stuck instead of knowing that there's somewhere that you're headed as a business and as an employee. And so if I asked you the question, how would you answer? What are you holding on to tightly as a business owner? And if I take it a step further, what are you holding on to too tightly that is keeping your team from growing? Maybe it's something that you need to sit down each employee and have a conversation around and just give them the freedom to respond. Maybe you need to chew on it a bit yourself first and then use that answer to cast some vision and think through what growth looks like for each part of your business. And so maybe it's asking those employees, hey, what am I holding on to too tightly that could free you up to do your job better? I would imagine that they would have some pretty impactful responses. And so think about what that communicates here for a second. Number one, it shows that you want them around for a long time and that you've actually thought through realistically what that looks like. It's powerful. Number two, it shows that you value them enough to grow them individually. And that's powerful as an employee. Everyone wants to be somewhere where they're invested in and they're intentionally challenged to grow. And then number three, it shows that you took the time to build an intentional business, that you're thinking things through, not just winging it, especially in a market where 80% of people looked around at their work options last year. They may not have moved, but they definitely surveyed the scene. You know, employees, they want to know they're somewhere well run. And the best way to show that is by listening and staying one step ahead. So your team knows they're following a proactive leader and not someone just winging it. So when will you think through this? Maybe it's, you know, taking a client to lunch and asking them what they see from their perspective. Maybe it's circling up your team leaders and grabbing 30 minutes with each of them and rolling this question into your weekly check-ins. And, you know, here's the, po here, here's the pushback that we get. Well, my employee, they're just not ready for more yet. They can't handle it. I get it. I really do. But hey, know this. It's your job to communicate that in an effective way. And if they're falling short, training them up to where they are ready for more. And that can be tough to swallow as a business owner and really hard to execute on. But ultimately, if we are the leaders of our business, the whole team is watching us and following our lead and so responsibility for team development rests squarely on our shoulders. I hope that's not something you take lightly, that the development, the training, the vision for your team, for your employees is on your shoulders, and rightfully so. But don't hold on too tightly to everything within the business that it stifles the growth of the team and keeps them from growing uh, into the future of their job role. So I hope that makes sense, and I hope that you get some time today just to process through that question of, what am I holding on to too tightly as a business owner? Take some time, think through that today. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.